And today I want to spend some time showing how you can use taxonomy to add some interesting features to your website. So here I'm going to start from scratch with um, the default recipe for our child. Taxonomies are a way to classify the information inside of your site. Out of the box in our child you get already one way to uh, categorize your information, which is tags. First, I'm going to import some contents into that site. And I'm just going to use a quick and dirty uh, blog import for that. So let me just create a blog real fast. Let's call it blog. Show it on the main menu. Let's save. And my comment here. is going to import the latest headlines from the New York Times. Found 17 items, and now I can go to my blog. And here are the posts. In order to use taxonomies, uh, first I need to install the module. So I'm going to go to Modules, Gallery, and I'm going to do a search on taxonomies, which is the name of the module. And here it is, I can install it. So here it's downloading, downloading from the gallery, and uh, I can enable the feature. So, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. All right, so now we have a new uh, taxonomies menu entry here. So when you look at the New York Times, um <coughs> here you can see that it has uh, some primary navigation, and we'll call that a section and each article is associated to just one section. So we'll build a taxonomy that reflects that. So I want to add a taxonomy. I will create it section. Save. And I will start adding some vocabulary. So add a term to the vocabulary. And I will start with the top level world section like here so i'll have those top 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 level sections and for the sake of the demo i will only create the subsections for the world um, header so now when i add a term i have a choice of the parent term that enables me to create hierarchies of sections here so under world i want Africa, Americas, Asia, Pacific, Europe, and Middle East. So let me create this. Africa. Americas. So we have our regions, and uh, I'll create some top level, a few of those top level uh, sections. So no parent term here, they are top level. So US, uh, I'll make the, the <coughs> slug uh, just US here. Let's finish with science. Etc, etc. Now I need to add this taxonomy to something. So what I want to classify here is blog posts. So I'm going to go to the content and then content types in order to be able to modify my blog post uh, content type. So edit on that. And taxonomies appear as fields because you can name them and you can have more than one on any given type. So add a field here. I'm going to name this section and I'm going to use a taxonomy field. So I'm not yet specifying which taxonomy. Hold on for that. Once I've saved this and I have added my section field here, I can deploy this here in the editor and I can choose the section taxonomy that I just created. I can choose to include it in the index. And I want to restrict the selection to leaves only, and I want to allow only one section 
to be selected for each item. So I'm going to save this. And now when I go to my blog and I select any of the blog posts for edition here, I can scroll here and I have a new section where I can select what this post is going to be related to. So this post is about that uh, scandal that just happened in France. So this is in Europe. Publish. And now when I go to the website, when I go to the blog, so here I can edit this second post here and this is happening in the Middle East publish and uh, this one is happening in Africa this one in Asia uh, all right I have a few uh, posts here that are appropriately associated to their sections. There they are. You can see section Europe on this one, and Middle East on this one, Africa on this one, Asia on that. So let's do one more. Let's do this one. All right. Now we want to display um, section navigation um, like we had here the, the presentation will be slightly different we're in a different theme and we're not going to do CSS today just know that you can you can start this using CSS very easily but what I'm going to do here is go back to my dashboard and go to the widgets section which is here and here I'm going to be able to add I mean the default layer so the default layer is applying to all the pages in my site and I want to go into that uh, zone here that's called a site second. So I'm going to find the site second. It's here and I'm going to add the taxonomy widget and choosing the section uh, taxonomy. And I'm not going to put a title on that. I'm just going to save and here it is here. I can now go um, to my uh, front end and now I have my navigation that is here. Um, if I click on Europe, I can now see uh, <coughs> the two posts assigned to Europe. If I click on Middle East, I can see the posts that are assigned to Middle East. Okay, now I want to add some categories. Uh, as you can see, let's look at one article on the New York Times. They have this uh, top level section, but they also have, well, not on this one. Let's take another one. Uh, let's take this one. On some articles, they have, as you can see, uh, a list of topics. Um, <coughs> so we are going to add a topic uh, taxonomy that is going to have the same effect. So topic. And this one will be different from sections in that you will be able to select w more than one topic for any given post. So let's put some vocabulary in there. Right, and now we can go back to the blog and we can pick a few um, articles here and here we still have our section oh yeah i didn't i didn't uh, uh, modify the content type to add the new taxonomy so again editing the blog post adding a field so we'll call this one topic and configure it so that it's included in the index using the topic taxonomy and this time we are not going to check that in section remember uh, we had checked those two so now we can save 
and now if I go back to my blog we can look for the one I was just editing oh well we can we can look at this one and this one is Africa and the topic is R Gaddafi and Libya publish and let's look at a few more um, okay so this one has Israel Palestinians some demonstrations and we can publish that all right so you could do that on all the posts I'm just going to stop here for uh, the demo. Let's just look at those posts. And here is one. So here we can see the topics that we added. All right. So one last thing that I want to do here is modify my taxonomies, which is something that is a little uh, mind bending. Uh, until you realize what is happening. When I go back to content types, the interesting thing here is that if I scroll down, you can see a mysterious new content type that appeared here. And that was created dynamically from the taxonomies that I created by the taxonomy module. And I have one for section and I should have one for topic here. So here we have two new um, content types that have been dynamically added by the taxonomy module. And if I edit one of those, let's say the section, this is behaving exactly like uh, any content type. So I can actually add new parts. So let's do exactly that. I'm going to add the body part to my section content type. So you can think of this as the page that appears when you click on one of the section uh, headers in the, uh, in the taxonomy widget that I added earlier in this demonstration. So now I have the body here. That means that I can go back to taxonomies here. I can go to the vocabulary for my sections and I can edit any of those. And look at that. Now I have a body here, a body part that appeared and I can add a description for this uh, term and I'm going to do that let's do uh, a quick search uh, get the Wikipedia uh, description for Africa let's copy the beginning of that into the description here so you would do that for each of the terms I'm just going to do it for Africa here and now um, if we click on Africa now we can see uh, our description that we just copied and we can see the uh, post that has been assigned to this section. There you have it. This is taxonomies in a nutshell and I'm sure you can find some very interesting applications of this uh, module that is extremely rich. Thank you very much for listening.